I want to start this out by saying long live young Dolph. Hopefully Dolph and his family get the justice that they deserve sooner than later. What's good y'all? It's your boy Mixtape Moth and today we're going to talk about this new album from one of Young Dolph's artists signed to his paper route empire label and that is Big Moochie Great. So this project East Haiti Baby is the second album from East Memphis rapper Big Moochie Great. Now Big Moochie has collaborated with Dolph before and rapped with many of the artists on the pre-label over the past couple of years. He even appeared on the Long Live Dolph compilation and ended up having one of the better songs featured on it. Now, Big Moochie Graves' content is very trap centered and consistent with much of the Memphis street sound. He doesn't offer much in terms of a variety of topics, uh, but what he does give you are hard hitting, fast flows and that raw, authentic Memphis experience. His voice is bound to put one in the frame of mind of old Gucci uh, mixed with a little Project Pat, there is no auto-tune on this, thankfully. Uh, it's just hard-hitting Memphis trap. So I decided not to do my normal track-by-track -track breakdown here because there wasn't a ton uh, to dissect in terms of the lyrics. Uh, it's not to say the Big Moochie Grape did not have slick lines here and there, uh, but it's more so the type of project that you play for when you are working out or driving around getting to the money it's basically lifestyle music this project contains 15 songs and lasts approximately 40 minutes the only features are young dolph key glock and kenny money now the production is definitely stand out throughout this album uh, the bulk of it was handled by paper rouse in-house producer band play who i've spoken highly about before as he continues to lace these pre-artists with some of the best trap soundscapes at the moment and Hit Kid and Sosa 808 also make contributions to these beats. I just want to now highlight some of the songs that stood out the most to me. Uh, the opener, East Haiti Baby, finds Big Moochie setting the tone uh, of this album over a dope sample flip of Black Street's no diggity. His previously released single, Never Had Shit, is one to check out as well. We are getting a cool nocturnal trap beat from band play. Then there is Fun with Young Dolph. Uh, it was either recorded before Dolph's passing or it contains a posthumous verse. Either way, it was a fun and psychedelic banger with a lot of personality. Christopher Wallace is another strong one here. Big Moochie pays homage to Biggie. The Memphis way. Uh, and I thought it was interesting that a 20-some-year-old Memphis artist would make a song devoted to Biggie. But I dig it. There is also a video for this record where Big Moochie and Dolph are walking around Bed-Stuy showing love to Big and his stomping ground. So if you want to see footage of Dolph before his death, uh, be sure to check out this video. It's a good one. The track Breakdance with Key Glock is another high point where Glock and Moochie trade bars over an immaculate trap beat. I uh, particularly enjoyed the part where Big Moochie goes a cappella, uh, but overall Glock and Moochie uh, have chemistry on wax. Joe Biden and Ric Flair are two humorous records, uh, but they each go hard and contain high quality trap production. Cotton Candy, produced by Bandplay, is another psychedelic and woozy banger. And I also want to highlight this song, Uncut and Raw, which closes out the album on a very strong note. Overall, I give this project a rating of three and a half mics. Uh, you are getting Big Moochie Grape speaking on street themes over an attractive batch of eerie and nocturnal trap beats. Big Moochie Grape does have bars that stand out here and there, but I feel he could definitely work on his songwriting a bit uh, as the themes do get a bit repetitive. However, uh, the strengths to this project lie in Big Moochie Grape's precise double time flow. The man's got a cold-blooded flow and the aggressive energy that he brings to these records and of course the consistent production throughout. I did enjoy Key Glock's Yellow Tape 2 Deluxe as well as Kenny Money's Time Is Money project which dropped uh, towards the latter part of 2021 and it's good to see that Dolph's energy is living on as these PRE artists are continuing to run it up and put out dope music 
in his absence. Let me know what you thought about this album in the comment section. It's your boy Mixtape Moth. I'm signing out, but be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe. As always, it's peace and blessings. Big Moochie Great, East Haiti Baby, one.